Queen with Soft Dye Boutique, September 22nd, 2023. I think it's about like maybe close to 10 p.m. I didn't check the time, but on here to give y'all an update regarding the yeast infection. Oh my God, y'all. <laughs> so thankfully I can laugh to keep from crying. So I actually realized that I did not have a vaginal yeast infection okay so i had a full body yeast infection and how i realized that was through my scalp i got my hair done friday but i don't just go to a regular cosmetologist my cosmetologist she's also a licensed trichologist as well so she specializes in scalp and scalp health so i got my scalp done got my hair done got a silk press sweated already life in louisiana um in september and it's still 99 degrees but anyway got my hair done and i realized after i took the femi clear that i was uh having all of this dandruff which was really really weird or so i thought was dandruff which was really weird because usually i don't deal with that after i go get my hair done then when i noticed that i was also noticing that i actually took two courses of femi clear and things were not getting better and i knew that i had also got a full uh panel uh sti std uh vaginal swab test so that nothing came up with that except yeast i got tested for bv chlamydia gonorrhea all of that and the only thing that came back was yeast. And so, um, and I use condoms, but everybody know condoms are not 100% effective. But I, I did use condoms. But I noticed, I'm like, okay, after the second course, I'm like, okay, I'm still experiencing some symptoms. Then I noticed the dandruff. Then I actually started paying attention to how I was itching, like all over my body tongue was white and i was really really tired and dizzy a lot of that i had been tired and dizzy and brain fog but i was just thinking that that was a symptom of you know the lingering parts along covid because i did overcome covid back in um june so then i really sat down and i put all together but thankfully when I initially went to uh, Planned Parenthood, they wrote me a prescription for uh, Diflucan, which I always let people write me prescriptions. And I do, sometimes I don't get them filled, but I don't really like arguing with doctors about not taking prescriptions because um, I really usually don't take prescriptions. And in the past, uh, the Femi Clear has helped, like even within two days and I didn't have any issue. So thankfully, some you know, I just woke up and I said yesterday I woke I woke up and I said, you know what? I just got out, I just got over COVID. I got a lot going on with what I, I'm doing with my firm, my personal life, things of that, um, mitigating all of this stress that I'm under. I said, let me go ahead and Get this prescription filled for the Diflucan because I know at this point that this is full body. So Diflucan, they said it's for vaginal um, yeast infections, but it's not. If you read the inserts, which has some crazy side effects, but I rebuked all of those. If you read the insert, it actually tells you that it's just for fungal infections, period. So how I got the fungal infection I truly believe, and it, of course it manifested into yeast, I really believe that uh, stress and eating um, like a lot of sugars and stuff because in just not realizing that I was doing that when I was under that amount of stress, but when I went to Planned Parenthood, I was so much under stress that my blood pressure was really high and I knew where that came from. It came from um, a contract position, a, a legal contract position that I that I have that I am putting in my letter of resignation, y'all, because it's not it's not going to end. 
um, the stress from that is not going to, it's going to get worse and worse and worse. And I know it. And I have been telling me, telling myself to put in this resignation. I've even written the re resignation. I really have. I've already written a resignation. So this weekend, I'm going to take the next step and type it up because I like to write things by hand. God told me to uh, leave that position. One of my living elders tells me when I see her, like, you know, you need to leave. You know, you need to quit. You know, that's not the place for you. And um, I'm seeing in real time what it is doing because um, that's the, the perks, I guess, that comes along with having a womb is it, that our womb tells us before the rest of our body tells us that something off. So actually it manifested into a vaginal yeast infection. That was like the biggest red flag because obviously this has been going on in my body and I just wasn't realizing it until it manifested into a vaginal um, yeast infection as well. And y'all know when I have anything off down there, I have to stop. I, I cannot focus on anything unless that is, I'm centered and I'm grounded in my womb. And I'm going to have to make a whole video on that. I know people wrote books about angry wombs and all of that, but it is real. When you are experiencing some type of acute or chronic trauma to the womb and you do not have the time to properly address it, get rid of what is causing the trauma and I really don't even like using the heal. I mean, it is what it is. Healing, well, healed and, and healed that issue. Uh, I see why a lot of people are out here mentally ill. A lot of women, a lot of females are out here mentally ill, evil, uh, downright evil, or just um, possessed. They're literally just possessed by, uh, you know, they're under a demonic possession and a demonic spell. Uh, regarding sexuality nature so I see that because you know I tell y'all everything <laughs> revolves around um keeping my womb healthy and happy it really really does so this was a huge wake-up call I um I, I did take the Diflucan and I don't feel bad that I took it because I do tell people there was a time when I was foolish and I was saying that I was anti-pharmaceutical but as I have grown um, in, in knowing what the truth is, I'm not anti-pharmaceutical anymore. I'm anti-chronically uh, and habitually um, taking pharmaceuticals, okay? <laughs> that is something that I, I am against. So, yeah. But what I have been doing um, Outside of that is I have been, not only did I take the Diflucan, I took a vaginal, let me see if I get it, microbiome test from Ombre Lab. So they did receive my uh, specimen and I'm so glad for that uh, because I'm just waiting for the results to see. I can't wait. Like, I think this is one of the best things that I have ever done by actually getting that test done. And I can go on a soapbox about health insurance and all of that. But mainstream health insurance, the stuff that they have on the marketplace, it is horrible. And I just get it because it is what it is. But basically, I have created my own health care plan that is centered around me and my womb because nobody knows my body and my womb like me. <laughs> But I'm excited for this um, these results to come in. Um, but I have been eating. Um, I, ma I made a bomb. I made a bomb ribeye stew. I made a bomb rib ribeye stew. So I've been eating. I made it from scratch. Uh, made its own gravy and everything without adding flour. Uh, so that I I've been eating like that. But when I do go to fast food restaurants, because I don't lie, like I go to fast food restaurants, but I tell people when I go to fast food restaurants, I am literally getting, um, I do eat the fries, shouldn't be having to eat the fries, but I do eat hamburgers. 
But when I get the hamburgers from the fast food restaurant, I'm literally ordering it with like meat and cheese, mustard and ketchup. That's it. I don't want they um, vegetables because I know their vegetables not real. Um, and I do not, under any circumstances, eat the bun. Y'all do an experiment. The next time you go to a fast food restaurant, get a hamburger, do not eat the bun. Just let the bun sit out and you're going to see how hard that bun is going to be. Literally, when you wake up in the next morning. Um, so, imagine what it's doing and clogging up your system. So, I just eat the uh, the meat patties and the fries. And I get water if I don't have my own drink with me. Uh, there's when I go to, for the most part, there's this local fast food chicken joint. And they have roasted chicken. And they have actually homemade uh, sides like dirty rice, string beans. And um, that's what I will eat from there for the most part. Um, but yeah. Oh, I've been eating fermented okra. Probiotic okra. Been eating fermented sauerkraut as well um, to repopulate my microbiome. Um, after I've just because of the yeast infection, the candida infection, and because of I took the diflucan. And I know I need to repopulate my microbiome. But I'm excited about it, y'all. Excited, excited. So I want to show y'all something else. So I am doing a full, because y'all, like, I am scratchy all over. And I know that's where they come from, their yeast. So, but thankfully, my skin is not broken or anything. So I am doing a full body French clay french rose clay mask so I, I mixed the rose clay and i um i mixed it with rose water so thankfully and rose clay is not made of roses you can't get rose petal powder though but i prefer french rose clay over bentonite clay uh just because it's more gentle on the skin and less drying, not as drying on the skin as bentonite clay is. So I'm like excited, excited about this. Because I love, um, I just, I, I love that act of knowing of, you know, I don't really even like using the word detox no more. Because that just came so cliche. But um, y'all, I'm sorry, this is pipe. That's just, if y'all hear that, that's what that is. So... I'm working on uh, manifesting my ideal home, okay, a state home at that. And because I'm not buying a house that um I'm not gonna say that. All I'm gonna say is I know exactly which type of contractor is going to build my home. And it is if it's not that specific type of contractor. I'm, I'm perfectly okay with still renting and but you know there's some things that come along with, with renting as well but just wanted to hop on here and let y'all know um oh oh I'm gonna make a separate video for that because that's I don't want this to go no yeah I'm gonna make a separate video so just be on the lookout for how I manifested a housekeeper how I manifested a housekeeper um, using the law of assumption. I don't, and I, I like, I know it's called the law of attraction, but we really don't attract anything to us. We extract it from inside our minds. So I like to say law of extraction instead of law of attraction, um, because that's what it means when you're actually projecting. Some things when the actual projector is extracting from what is inside. What you see on that screen, that is that is extracted and projected and ejected from the inside of that projector. So I like to say the law of extraction. So um, how I manifested a housekeeper with the law of extraction. So Queen with Soft Eye Boutique wanted to give y'all update on. 
full body yeast infection. Can't say that. I can't believe that I'm saying this on social media, but it's real. It is what it is. I'm not embarrassed. I'm not ashamed of it. Men get yeast infections too. Children get yeast infections. It's just something that happens when your uh, gut health and your microbiome is off. And if I can, sh you know, by me sharing my story, if I can help one person not feel any shame um, and not be afraid to heal and do what they need to do in order to get themselves right, then I'm doing um, exactly what it is that I, I was uh, brought here in earth to do. Peace.